and Caroline from The Upcoming. Very nice to speak to you. Um, I suppose the big question is, how do you prepare to be a Pope? Uh, well, in my case, uh, you, you, I don't know. You don't become, you know, I'm not a Catholic. I grew up uh, uh, thinking the Catholics were the enemy. I was a Welsh Presbyterian, mean-spirited. Um, but um, it, was, it was getting this script which I thought was quite an extraordinary piece of work and, uh, and knowing that um, Fernando Morales was going to direct it which was uh, very exciting for me, I have a great fan of his work. Um, so that's how I became Pope and I wanted to become Pope. So has playing Pope Francis given you a different perspective on him? Um, a different, I've learned something about him but it's less to do with learning about him in the present day but learning about where he came from and what made him into the person he is today. And it's uh, somebody, another journalist I was speaking to earlier said, did I see this, his becoming Pope, after being quite a divisive figure in Argentina, was this a kind of redemptive move for him? And it's, uh, I hadn't thought about it while I was doing it, but when you see it, you think, yes, maybe, because his, his personality changed when he became Pope. And he, it was like, yes, now at last I can do the things I wanted to do all my life. Um, yeah, it's, uh, and I have enormous respect for him. And I, I think the end of the film, which is a very simple message uh, about uh, caring for your fellow human beings and uh, not building walls but knocking down walls and all that stuff that we uh, tend to lose sight of, um, especially in Europe at the moment. Um, yeah, well, it's, it's made me uh, admire him all the more. Yeah, well, they, they had very different views of how to go about their job. Um, and Benedict, I think, uh, realised that he could go no further in trying to make any reforms and without the support of the Vatican. And he saw, according to the film, he saw Bergoglio as the man who would, uh, would move the church forward into the present day. He's, uh, he's a monster. But I don't know. It's not. He's, um, we had a fantastic time together, and it, um, I think partly it was due. I, in retrospect, I realised that those early scenes that we have together, where Francis is in awe of the papacy and in awe of Benedict, even though he doesn't agree with him, it sort of uh, fell into the way I was playing the scenes early on. That I was, you know. I was working with Tony Hopkins, who I'd been in awe of for years and an admirer of for years. And I felt as if I'd never been on a film set before, and I you know, didn't know how to do it, and I was uh, getting quite down about it. But uh, that, it was, that was more to do with the character, I think. And then as our relationship in the film grew, so did our personal relationship grow. And we, we had a great time together, a lot of fun together. Uh, to be uh, in cold, rainy London, um, it's, uh, it's good. I, I flew in this morning and I'm flying out tomorrow morning. I'm doing a play on Broadway, so uh, I'm a bit lightheaded. Yeah. Uh, it was great. It really was great. I had to think which Anthony was and Anthony would come. Um, no, we had a great time. I mean, I've uh, always admired him and uh, I've been in awe of him in some ways over, over the years. And, um, and that kind of translated into what we were doing together in the early scenes we did together. But I was a bit nervous and a bit hesitant, and I think Francis was nervous and hesitant when he met uh, Benedict. And then the relationship grows, and Tony and my relationship grew, and uh, we began to have fun together. And uh, it was mutual respect. It's great. And, you know, two Welsh popes can't be a bad thing.